Today I'm going to show you how you can use different MS Excel techniques and formulas to create your own data set and practice on it. As you can see on my screen we have a sale data set, we have ID, product, date, sales, salesperson, product category, quantity and customer columns and then we have product list, salesperson's list and customer list in these three columns. What we want here today is to create a dummy data set of any number of rows using this information so first of all let's create a data set of 10 rows only so i can just show it to you and then you can drag the formula down to expand this data set for your practice let's generate the ids first you can use sequence function of 10 rows if we press enter it will give us 10 ids here then for creating the product we can use a combination of index function and round between function to create a product list here so we can say that this is the product list we want to create products from this list comma then the row number will be a number between 1 and 10 because we have 10 products here so we can use rand between function to create a row number between 1 and 10 close parentheses press enter you can see that it selected orange from this list for creating a date we can use the rand between function again Let's create the first date using the date function and that will be 2023. Month is 1, day is 1. Close parenthesis, this will be the bottom for this rank between function. Then we can use the date function again to create the final date of the year that is 2023, 12, 31. Close parenthesis and press enter. This will give us a random date between 1 and the last date of 2023. For creating sales, let's use the rand between function. I want the sales to be between 100 and 10,000. So it can give us a number between these two, that is 6,000. For the salesperson, again, we need to use this list. So for that, let's use the index function and let's select this area of salespersons. Then use the rand between function to get a number between 1 and 10. Press enter, this will give us a random person from this list. For the product category, we can use a single category fruit because all these products are in the fruits category. But if you want to use a different category, then we can use this list that is category parts, fruit and digital products. And we can use the same method that is by using index function. And this is the array for the index function. Then for the row number, we can use round between. This will be 1 and 3 because we have a list of 3 categories only. If we press enter, it will give us one category from this. But it's good to use fruit because all the products are in the fruit category. That's it. Quantity again is a simple thing using the range between function. We can use for example 10 and 100 to give us a number between 10 and 100. And the customer will be selected from this list. So that is again we can use uh, the combination of index and range between functions that is index give me an item from this list using this row number that will be ran between 1 and 10 close parentheses press enter that's it we have created the first row let's now fix some ranges if we drag this down so the ranges do not change the first one is this range press f4 key to fix this fix this one as well that's it this range is now fixed Press enter. In this we have used date function so we do not need to fix that. This is also okay. Here we have this range. Let's select this range and press F4 key to lock this. Then for fruit we have used a string. Then we have ran between and then we have a range here. Let's fix this one as well. That is pressing F4 key. That's it. So now we can drag this down and we can create many rows as well. Let's we drag this down. That's it. We have done this and now we have created 10 rows. If you want to expand this to other rows, you can just select the last row and we can drag this down like this. It will give us more rows. And for the IDs, we can just expand this to, for example, 16 rows. Just click 16, press enter and it will give us 16 IDs. So this is how we can create a dummy data set for practicing MS Excel skills. That's it for today. Please like this video, leave your comments and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.